Extract from the 495th Official Contact Conversation of June 14, 2010. Billy says then I would like to ask another question regarding the plague of oil in the Gulf of Mexico. Florana told me that the BP Corporation, that is to say, the British Petroleum Corporation, has spread unbelievable untruths in regard to the actual discharge of crude oil into the Gulf and in regard to the entire terrible matter. Patar says that is right because, already, from the beginning, more than 8.6 million litres of crude oil flowed into the Gulf, whereas the present amount is around 14.5 million litres per day. However, in the course of time, this amount can quickly further increase due to a greater pressure from the depths. This would depend on the corresponding subterranean conditions. Natural gas and the warmth of the Earth play an important role in that. And this can happen if effective measures are not able to prevent, in a decisive amount of time, this even more terrible thing. But what there is to say at present in regard to that is that it is questionable whether the BP Corporation can effect the necessary measures in an appropriate amount of time in order to bring everything under control. And, should it not succeed in stopping the flow of oil, then the entire thing can therefore, under certain circumstances, mean that the crude oil further contaminates the Gulf and thereby ultimately also the Gulf Stream to a great extent which can then lead to a worldwide climatic catastrophe, which then far exceeds everything so far in regard to climatic transformation. Already, because of the discharged crude oil, new climatic changes are resulting which are already noticeable but is a fact which is kept quiet as is also the fact that the monstrous amounts of crude oil secrete poisonous gas and particles which reach the troposphere and atmosphere and are driven by the wind around the globe and are rained down. If, ultimately, the poisonous crude oil drifts with the Gulf Stream into the north and contaminates the Atlantic, then monstrous climatic alterations emerge against which all that which has already come about would only be a weak prelude. Aside from that, the crude oil's toxic substances are secreted in the form of poisonous gases and poisonous particles which have an illness inducing effect on human beings and animals and on all creatures, as these toxic substances, however, also disperse in the ocean water itself and store themselves on the ocean floor whereby further contaminations come about, a fact which is likewise kept silent by the responsible authorities and by the scientists. The crude oil, which is shooting upward, not only floats on the water and contaminates the surface as well as the land which is affected by it, rather it also drifts underwater as oil agglomerations. Billy says not exactly pleasant. But do you have data about what quantity of crude oil is used on the earth every day? Patar says according to our investigations, it is about 14 billion liters per day. Billy says monstrous. Patar says it really is. The End